Hello everybody, Apache Lower 34 <laughs> 23 here. Um I'm going to show you how or what you need to be an organized like rider or equestrian. We're going to start right away. Alright. Start off with my horse notebook. It's got horses in my name. And I colored it blue, of course. Then I just have my name. A heart. <laughs> then time. The, well, the date that I went horseback riding, like the 15th of October. I'm just saying random things. Time, like just like if I had my lesson two, I'll write two. Summary, like all right. I need. Um, I did a three foot jump or whatever today. And then I just wrote that in sections. I um pre I got a new new one. I pre wrote a, a lot of pages in school. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It just like if you're like if you haven't written in a while, sometimes you just might wanna know what you were learning about on this day, and so you can know what how what day. How much you've worked your horse in what day? Because sometimes my horse can get a little, well, the horse I ride can get a little cranky if I don't use my time right. Because sometimes if I work her too much, she'll get angry. Um, this is, I heard someone else call it like a personal box, but I got a new one. It's like a pencil box. Um, of course it's blue. And um, my other one that I kept at the barn, it was like old. So I got a new one. Um, it's filled with other stuff right now, but in a personal box, or that's I don't know. I usually call it my supplies box. I don't know why, but I have band aids, like stuff for me, hand sanitizer, all sorts of stuff. Um, it's just like a little $9.99 pencil box you would get at Walmart or something. Um, okay, and then command hooks work awesomely. Um, these big ones, they can work okay for bridles, but they're kind of, these are the medium, so they're kind of small, but the large work for bridles. Um, I just put this and, like, hang it somewhere, hang it in my bucket, um, just to hang something on, I don't know. And then, I like this kind better of command hook, flip the right way. It's got the wire thing, and it can, like, flip back and forth. I like that kind better. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Sticky notes. I love sticky notes. I'll stick a note on the stall saying I worked. I, my horse's name's Co, so I don't have to keep saying. Well, my, I she's not mine yet, but I I want her, so she's for sale. But anyways, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna start saying Co instead of horse. <laughs> All right, so I can put it like on the stall on coast stall, coast stall. And it'll say like I worked on I worked her two hours, one hour lunching, one hour jumping or something. So people know like don't work her too much t the rest of the day or something. Or I can write like don't turn her out today. I'm gonna work with her, or change her feed or give her another supplement or something. And you can like just stick me your tack trunk or something saying ride this horse if you ride like horses for your trainer or whatever. They're pretty cool. I got a new one. And these little hooky majiggers, they're awesome. Um, they're just like those little hook things. Yeah, I don't, well, I don't know how to say this, but they hook things together. Like, sometimes I'll put this on my lead rope so I can hang it up. Really, you can use this for anything. I usually just use it for my lead ropes. Yeah. Alright, got a few more things, but they're not right here, so we're going to travel. Ooh. And I'm going outside to show you, so it might be a little noisy. Okay. I guess 
you could also use, but I don't use them as much. But like in the back of the car, I have a towel just set down and there's a hair tie and just some videos and stuff. I have a towel laid down. It really just keeps it nice and tidy, I guess. So you can just lift it up and yeah, so. Yeah, that's that. Ugh. Ugh. My dog's in here. No. All right. So, yeah. Um, you can also have little backpacks and bags. I do, but I don't have right here. Oops, it's no way. Um, all right. These things keep it a lot more organized than you would think. Um, I got this cool one. I threw away my other one because it was like, <sighs> really needed to be throw, thrown away. And so I finally got a new one. I just got it, so I'll put my stuff in it on Sunday because I'm going to go and like spend the whole day at the barn. I'll make a lot of videos. This afternoon I'm going to upload a lot of videos too because I've made a lot of videos but not uploaded them. So there's a video about my dogs, um, horseback riding stuff and other things. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. It's got this like apple plush thing. I don't know, I just stuck it right here. And it just stays there. Like I'll pick it up and put it down. It just stays there. So it's pretty cool. It's an apple. And here's my lead rope. I got it home to wash it, but I never have. I'm not going to. It's too much work. It's not that dirty. But I just brought it home. I like these lead ropes. Um, and I wouldn't suggest if you have a cranky horse or a slow horse or sometimes a horse that doesn't want to cooperate. Get the leather things on the end. And I need a leather clean mine or condition mine. But, yeah. They really work well. You can just, just smack them. Oh, my arm hurts. I cut it today. <laughs> Anyways, but can, it really works. And when you wash the lead ropes, I guess I'll do a separate video on how to wash a lead rope. <laughs> I don't know, but just put you down oh, I can all right you just slide well if you have it like this you can undo it but I don't know but you just pull it get this part and just pull it up then slide the buckle through and slide it out Ugh. see and then take the um, leather off, leather off, it might be a little hard, but it's pretty easy, I guess, to get back on. Then, to get it back on, you, oops, you stick it through, Ooh. right, and then, after you've done that, you, sorry, you stick the buckle back through, and just pull up. Ugh. And you can adjust it and everything. But that's my lead rope. So, woo So, thank you for watching. Bye.